Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a background image to your HTML page. Here on the left hand side, I have my basic HTML file. To the right, I have it open in my Chrome browser. I'm going to type CSS here to apply the background image to the body tag. If you want to apply a background image to another element, just use a CSS selector to select that HTML element. So for example, if I had a div with an ID, hello, I would replace that body tag in the CSS style with hashtag hello. Hashtag stands for the ID. It's a selector that selects elements by ID name. And so hashtag hello would select that div. But now because we're selecting the body tag, I'm going to go ahead and replace that back to body. If you don't want to use CSS selectors, you can type the CSS directly into the style attribute on that element. So here I'm setting background to black using the style attribute for body without having to use the CSS selectors. But using the style attribute is going to be exactly the same thing as if you typed the CSS properties here so you have these two different ways of applying CSS values to HTML elements with the style attribute and with the CSS that goes between the style tags. Now let's apply a background image to the body tag. You're going to type background colon URL parenthesis open double quote the file name of your image close parenthesis and semicolon so it's important that the file name you type in here is an actual name of the file located in the same folder where you have your html file now i'm going to save this html file and refresh the browser as you can see the background image was applied across the entire screen by default if the image is too small the HTML background will appear to repeat itself over and over. With a single image, most likely that's not what you want to happen. First, let's make sure that the image does not repeat. This can be done by using the CSS property background-repeat colon and then you use the value no-repeat. This will single out our background image and prevent it from repeating. Using the CSS property background-size colon we can apply a hundred percent hundred percent value to it to make sure that the image will stretch regardless the browser size if you don't want your image to stretch but still cover the entire screen you can use the cover value and it pretty much works like this so you always have all corners of your image within the page but you can also use the contain value. And so basically it's going to add a border if the image does not fit into the browser view. Now, another property for controlling background images is called background dash position. And if you set it to center, your image will always be centered. You can use all these CSS properties to change how your background image looks. But what you probably really want is a combination of cover and center. I think that gives you the best results in most cases. So here's what it looks like. It covers the screen and it always centers the image regardless of the screen size. 